Welcome to Sister Wives, Season 17, Episode 12, Life After Polygamy. Or as I would call it, you make me sick. Sorry. Uh, John is actually very sick. And if you <clears> think to yourself, gee, it seems like John's sick every week. We would agree. It also be seems... about every other lately. It, it does seem like John is sick almost every single time we film. We had to push... Thank you for being patient about the video coming out late. We had to push... So we can take him to urgent care, and then the pharmacy, and then the food, healthy food, and all that. And we finally got to it. It's a weird episode because it made me so mad. Because It's a weird episode. Because he just lied all the time. Just everything he said was doublespeak. One second it was this, one second it was that. One second it so was... So it's typical. Yeah, very typical. What's just one second he's never quit, the next second he's like, I don't care about Janelle. She can just do she can just I, do I never whatever. liked her. I never blah blah blah. blah well he didn't blah, say he never liked blah, her. Well he said that about the other one, Christine. But Christine. But he's gonna say it eventually about Janelle. He's gonna have some some problems here soon. And then one second we have no money to build, the next second we have money to buy Christine's house. Well but and then we'll figure out a way to build. Every two seconds. Um I wanna point this out. It, I know it's been the same intro all um, season. Love should be divided and not multiplied. C C Cody should be <coughs> king emperor of the polygamy family um, unless it's Robin and then she can do whatever she wants. No, um, so we start off, I, I said I had not noticed how bad Cody looks in the intro. Like they have him kind of standing to accentuate his like pot belly and he just looks bad. Five or six head. It just looks so bad and I was like wow how do I they got, like those, never they got those picks before the, whatever, the lines of hair that whatever are now receded doing. behind. Um, and then we have the Enya music. Nothing really seemed to, everything that, that happened seemed to have all happened within like a couple of days. Enya. And nothing still happened. Happened. They have, yeah, they had fake Enya music. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Hey. <laughs> it should have been run away. Run away. Uh, Christine is saying it's, it, they're finally leaving. Like, I thought that she left. She's been, like, they about really to leave. They really drag it out like they drug out COVID. And we're still hearing about that this episode. Well, remember the catfishing episode? Someone was saying that they didn't really discuss it on the, on the show. And I was like, hold up. As someone who suffered through the catfishing seasons, we heard about it constantly. And the family... Um, what was that? The family creed, the family mission statement that went on a whole season. And I was like... I personally think that a lot of what they're doing now is trying to figure out what the show is going to look like since they're not a polygamous family anymore. And I'll tell you who's marketable and who's not. Yeah, because Mary's out. We we don't even see, other than Mary being in interviews where they're like, where she's like, yeah, I gave all my money to Robin. We don't hey, see Mary. But, but I have value aside of Cody. Okay, prove it. Oh, yeah. Because well, no, you don't at this point because you're just a doormat. Just come we, step on me. We honey. never see Robin other than interviews or that one scene outside. And at the end of the episode, the preview for the next episode, they really, somebody caught this and screenshotted it. And I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about it unless I personally saw it. And we saw it, but we, I, I, I think we have a pretty strong theory on why we don't see inside Robin's house except for a few set times. And why truly there's no place for Because it's a pigsty and they have too much crap. Everywhere. Including outside of the garage, which they don't have room inside to put it. Yeah. You don't leave stuff out in also, winter. two trucks, an SUV, and you're, you're a taking, You're taking away all my, all my glory. You're all, you're all hipped and hopped up on... I gotta get this in while I can still breathe. He's all hopped up on cold <clears throat> mess. Everybody loves talking to John, though. Because at some point, I'm just going to keel over. Okay. Christine says that she had a she had an offer. It fell through the day she was leaving, but she's actually packing up and leaving. <laughs> and then she leaves again for the last time later. She had an offer, and these people, according to them, they didn't want it because it had electrical problems. And she's like, now I'm going to... it's nothing that could have been fixed. Yeah, normally that's the kind of thing you get fixed. Or have a discount on getting your house with. I don't know, but she said that she says, there's an electrical problem. She's going to re, she's going to get it fixed right now and realize. Yeah, I wonder how. I mean, my thought was. Well, she got a new offer and it's sold, and they want to close early. Yeah, it sounds like a, like a deal for her. <clears throat> I hope it was at least competitive with the other hope one. Hope it ain't Cody. Right, we know it's not. <laughs> so they cut to Robin, who is always mid crisis. She's always. <laughs> She literally said, this is going to reverberate for generations. And I'm like, okay, lady. Is she is, talking about her gas? Cause this is... She looks like she's got some. She always looks like she's got gas. 
It's going to reverberate for generations. <laughs> But she's always mid-crisis. She's sobbing. They, like, cut between Christine being like, yes, I'm very scared, but I'm starting a new life. And Robin is like, we will never, never recover from this. Do you think, way one, the real question is, do you think that's true? Do you think that she is genuinely upset? Yeah, because yeah, it affects her. <laughs> I think a lot of people will and say... how much money she can steal from the other wives. Money. Another is this, this essentially she is head wife of, uh, according to her, four wives, because she's always asking Mary to hold on with her. So she's holding, Cody's like, get, get the bee out the door. And, and, you know, Robin's like, stay on with us. Well, now Christine's left. Mary's leaving. So now she's the head wife of two. And it's not looking so good with Janelle. And I wonder if she's going to, you know, she really laid into... Cody, at least on camera, at least on camera, Who? Robin laid into Cody about how he 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 should be staying at Christine's house, spending the night on the the couch. She has said previously, Robin has, that she, when Cody's there, it's all about him. She takes care of him, which I'm sure he absolutely cannot get enough of. Well, that's why he's there a hundred percent of the time. And then except when he's when gone, he's walks over to Janelle. Except for when he's when he's gone. Then she does everything else. Well, now he has been there for two years. I don't know that she likes him that much. Uh, we're going to find a, out. A, over a million dollar house and all those vehicles. Uh, and then, yeah, so then apparently we have now caught up with the timeline where they announced that Christine had left. Because... Mary is saying how people are coming under her and they're being so mean to her about why doesn't she leave Cody? She's just a loser. And then she takes this 90, 120 degree turn where she said, Christine has value outside of Cody. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Good observation. But she says it like, how dare these people say this? She has value outside of Cody. And I'm thinking, yeah, I think everybody knows that. I think the whole point I have not seen all the comments on her her uh, her page, but the what I have seen or people have been saying for a while is that um, Christine can do better than Cody. She deserves better. I feel like people even tell Mary that, which I'm not feeling that right now with Mary. <laughs> but if you were to be like, okay, honestly, objectively, Nikki, what do you think? If she made herself useful for more than just Cody's doormat. She could be. The that the, the catfishing thing was a mis, was a, a, a big screw up on her part. But what we've learned over the past two seasons is that Cody essentially cut her off years before the catfishing thing. Yeah, I was going to say was it or is it just No, it's different. People get a little huffy in the comments. I think it is very different when a couple mutually they're the only two together are not having an intimate relationship together Don't and they are still with me in the comments i'll re re regurgitate you for generations <laughs> Whatever. i think it's different and i think there's a lot of couples who do that especially as they get older they move to different times and have health problems i have some very dear friends who are in a, who are in that kind of relationship because of health problems not us <laughs> definitely have the health problems right now definitely having yeah well yeah i mean i guess right now we are in a sexless marriage since you since you're so sick. Since two weeks ago. So, <laughs> sorry, sorry, a little TMI. No, no, but I mean, the, my, but my point is being, it's different when you are in a relationship where that is something that you and your, and of course, if you and your partner choose it, I, I'm not, I have no place to say anything. Well, if you're on TV, I feel like okay. that's, that's free to if you're on say TV, anything I want about you because you're in the public well, Realm. to say anything about that's why we talk about only the TV show, not otherwise. Is that the stuff that's put on TV I ain't is talking about my neighbors? Yeah, we're not talking about our neighbors. So, uh, the point being, though, that he didn't do that. He just stopped having <clears throat> sex with Mary, and then it sounds like Janelle has always been very closed mouth, just saying that she gets what she needs, which I'm guessing means that she doesn't need him that way. She, she's got and a then, back massage and that then works out. Christine. Christine was getting it very, very, very sparsely down to nothing. And then he said he wasn't interested in doing it again. And I think that was like, 
I don't think there's one moment that like cracks a relationship, but that was a big crack for her. And then him not showing up for Isabel was another huge one. Oh, but it wasn't one of his kids, right? No, it wasn't. I mean, it doesn't count because it's one of Christine's kids. Oh, okay. Those, he doesn't refer to those as his children. If he's got to suffer for any amount of time, it's disrespect. And then he can never get over it ever again. So. <laughs> he will not move in with a wife in a trailer because it. Is inconvenient to him. Inconveniences him. him. What, a, what a loving partner. What a person that I would not want to walk through anything with. Mary, we found out that she he basically was withholding affection. At some point she got him on a little catfishing thing. I'm not going to say it's right. I'm just not going to bother to argue how wrong it is when he abandoned her prior to that. I mean, you could have had some respect by just... Now, if he had right there said that that was the end of their marriage, I think that would have been a really different situation. But he really Do we know played. He didn't? Well, on the, <clears throat> not on the show. On the show, he kept saying there's something there. We can be salvaged. When they that's went, just when he wanted her money and her vote to move to Flagstaff. When they were or, gonna right, Flagstaff. Yeah. When right. they were gonna go to Flagstaff, he, he took Mary. And was really like, oh, this is a, what a romantic downtown it is, you know. I can we butter all... this biscuit up to get yeah. my vote. So that's where I have an issue with, with her. We got off track. Janelle's leaving. Uh, it looks like Mitch, who's married to Aspen, was there. You were like, which kid is that? And I'm like, I think I, don't, I think it's Aspen's husband. Hopefully not a kid, since he's married no. to one of the other kids. McKelty and Tony were there. Janelle was there. At one point I saw Garrison, who I believe now goes by David, but I, we don't. Anyway, and a number of people have been saying that Christine has five kids and Janelle has six. They both have six. <coughs> they both have six. Just, just FYI. Uh, they're cleaning up the house. Janelle, the best moment of this, the, the most interesting moment of this whole season was Janelle and Christine talking about each other. Talking about how Janelle is like, she's crying. She's saying how it's the end of a chapter. Maybe it's the end of a whole book. They're talking about what it means to be sister wives. It's very clear that however they feel about the terminology, the bond that they have had that has that is best friend, they've never had to categorize it because I've always been sister wives. So when Christine was like one of my best friends, combined with the fact that they share a family. <clears throat> they don't share Cody anymore, which is really... No <laughs> loss there. That's a detriment. <laughs> Let's step up. Um, they share each other's children, uh, and that's a majority of the family, and I think... Oh, you mean like what they said they wanted to do? Yeah. This whole stinking time? And yeah. they're doing it? Oh, oh. I know, 17 seasons, and we finally see the sister-wife relationship. I shouldn't say that, because we've always seen it be between Janelle and Christine, but it's always been about the family. The family is this, the family is that, blah, blah, I do blah, recall blah. Mary trying to wedge her way in there and try to be part of the family and a mom to all the kids and stuff, which she definitely isn't saying anymore. No, she's, def she's not. I mean, she really likes Just another Robin's reason kids. she's a horrible person, but anyway. <clears throat> so, Christine's crying. It breaks my heart. It's very sweet, though. And then Cody, what does that even say? Oh, I said this is all filmed in the same day because it all seemed to happen really fast. Um, so we cut to, it appears to be the next day. Janelle's getting water for the RV. <clears throat> Cody just happened to show up with, with a film. Well, I mean, there's a film crew there. Cody so no just one just happened to show up to do nothing for Janelle. Although I will say, I think... There is a part of me that wonders if he didn't just happen to show up because he saw the film crew and was like, oh, 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 I'm in on this. Yeah. Cha -ching. He, 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 <clears throat> yeah. She's getting water for the RV. Savannah's talking about how she got in farther into this RV than she wanted and she's excited for an apartment. And he's like, I heard Christine's house, fell, you know, you know, Christine's house fell through. And Janelle was very much like, oh, yes, I might have heard something about that. <laughs> very like... Very much like she's not going to... This is old news, and no, I don't want it. And Thank you. combined with, like, yes, I probably heard it before you heard it, by the way. And he's but like... But she was graceful. She was totally not. No, no, no. And I have to say, I have to say, I did say this on TikTok, which I have, by the way, link below, is that we often talk about what a good Janelle... What a good friend Janelle's been to Christine. Thousand percent. What a good Janelle. What a good Janelle. <laughs> what a good friend Janelle's been to Christine. Christine has also been a good friend to Janelle because if I was Christine, I would be like, how could you stay with that low life, dirty, 
son of a... And everybody's been a good sister wife to Mary, wet bar, Vegas. Yeah. Now, admittedly, Mary's wet bar, I, I gave her a hard time back then, but in the end, we were. it ended up being a very small sum of money, and I think she ended up paying for it herself, versus Robin's monstrosity of a house. And Which they can't even fit all their crap in. From what I understand, also bought the lot next to them. And she, I think she has her name on two lots. Well, it doesn't matter because she's legally married to Cody, which means that unless they have created some trust, which they have not, because the, it isn't... You mean a trust, not some trust. A, <laughs> either. Uh, she owns half of every... She, she also owns everything he's, he owns, and so his name's on everything, so she owns everything. Yeah, except polygamy is illegal. Well, I know... Anyway... Uh, and but I want to remind you before I say this. Last week, <laughs> last week, John. Last week. Last week. I don't remember. I was when she to... said she wanted to build. He said no. <clears throat> Why? Because he's a. Uh... No. That is true. There was no money. Oh. She said, "I know there's money. We pulled it out for other things. There's no money now." He said, "There's no money." There's no money because you're not Robin. But or, then he showed up, or one of his many trucks that he wants to buy, or a convertible, or, or the many businesses that he's a part of, which I'm sure he does just so well at. He makes such good deals. <laughs> they, they've got a balloon payment on Coyote Pass coming. Allegedly. Allegedly. A lot of people believe it. We don't actually know. I like him. I used to be a real estate expert, like for real, real. Yeah. And especially, <laughs> especially, what was your your specialty? What was my specialty? Uh, repossessions, like a. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good. At, yeah, because I know in, all about that. He was entitled insurance. I and moved so right from refi to that. Right, like I couldn't have timed it better if I tried. Two thousand seven. I didn't try. Six, seven, yeah. I got in and learned from this person who'd been doing it like literally thirty five years, and that's it. And so, she knew everything. So, did you take Dayquil today? No. Okay. I was going to say, last time you were sick and you took Dayquil, everyone was like, man, that is chatty John. And look at it. We broke Turns out I just need to be sick. So he had, last week there was no money for, for Janelle to buy, uh, for Janelle to build this house. So he comes in he's like, hey, Christine's house fell through. We can buy it. And she's like, She's no. like, hold up. I already talked to our real estate professional, and they said, yes, we could. And then we would have to rent it out for two years before we could get any okay. construction loan on it. So, again, where's Janelle going to live? Which doesn't matter, because Cody doesn't care. He doesn't care. And he said, his words were, yeah, I'm being creative and argumentative. Remember that three weeks ago he said <sighs> that he gets creative when he was saying that if they don't have a custody, custody agreement... Uh, the state will take truly and he admitted then he was being creative with the truth so creative is his word for lying and she's like I can't afford both I can't afford both I cannot afford to I want my own house never seen Janelle this mad she is yelling also I have never seen Janelle look that good I took a, I took a picture <laughs> of her and I was like she looks stunning she looks stunning no makeup screaming at him I'm like girl have you found you know, like we all have that like position that we that we stand in, you know, or like for me, it's a little uphill to get rid of. We all have You're that. Beautiful. Thank you. We all have that position that makes us feel like a little more attractive. Cody's with that the the curl here and the curl there. I'm not saying it works for him, but clearly he thinks that that is his best look. She had never <clears throat> looked better. Screaming at him. So she says, raised her voice a little, in my opinion. But anyway. What did you say? So she just raised her voice a little, in my opinion. But it would even better. <clears throat> well, no, you say screaming, and I, I'm just. Oh, oh, oh! It's well. I'll say it this way: it's a, it's the angriest we've ever seen her in a long time, at least. I think one time when the boys were fighting, she got she got pretty hot. But it's been like ten years, and I say that let's grade on a curve, Cody. If that man, the way he talks even in the interviews just makes me want to smack him. The way he's like, oh, so I go over there and Janelle's just going to sweep it up underneath the carpet. And I'm like, it's like, dude, don't yeah, you that's, dare use that. That's divorce. You like, move on. <laughs> Get over it. You've been left, homie. So what she says is, I do everyone's taxes, which is the case. Because I remember when... Um, she says she turns them in. She Well, she, she turns them in, but she looks them over because when... Uh, Cody divorced Mary to marry Robin. 
Janelle said, oh, guys, before taxes, I just did the taxes. <laughs> so she's heavily involved in this. She says, I know that we have the money and it's spent on other things. Okay, other things, Nanny. Robin. Now, somebody pulled up recently the clip, which I had forgotten, which trucks is... Trucks and convertibles no one needs, because they already have full-size trucks. After, and who needs a convertible? After... We'll get to that. I mean, hey, if you can afford it, okay. I got no problem with you owning it. But when you're trying to say, oh, you want, the most important thing is building on Coyote Pass, and then you're just buying trucks and crap. So what John's referring to is that we know we had one truck that Christine called a wussy truck. Full-size Nissan Titan. And then he bought his brothers, who had passed away, huge truck from his sister-in-law. Which is the Ford something. It's like a full-size F-250, F-350 diesel, probably. Okay. Likely... Lifted. I, I'm going to give him... I'm going to cut him slack and say that he then sold the the, the Titan. I, I don't know for a fact, but I'm not going to assume he still well, has it. I mean, it. he probably ripped off his brother's widow. Maybe, or See, maybe he not. He does seem like that kind of guy. He seems like the kind of guy who would try to, and then he seems like the kind of guy who would then overpay for something. I'm telling you, this man is not a savvy businessman, no matter what he says. Okay, there is that. He, he They had the minivan they picked up the kids with and drove over to Christine's party the day before. And then today, in the, at the end of the episode, when he pulls up to help Christine with the snowblower, I know we're jumping ahead, he's driving a um, a little convertible, a little hardtop convertible. <coughs> John thinks they... It appears to be a late model Lexus. He had one in Vegas, but I think it was the cream color. But I, anyway... Doesn't matter. No. So he's got a bunch of trucks. We know that um, Robin has a nanny, which originally she got the nanny because she told Cody, I'd love to have another baby, but I can't run Sister Wife's Closet and have another baby. So if we're going to decide, well, Sister Wife's Closet ate up money. The nanny continues to eat up, eat up money to this day. I want to know anyway. A lot of people pointed out her clothing. Now, maybe she's buying it from someplace like <clears throat> Upthread, or maybe she's buying it. You know, I have some nice things that I bought from like Nordstrom's Rack for almost no nothing. Um, uh, so possibly, but it does seem at the end of the episode, we see that their house is absolutely full of stuff. So it does seem that she's a stuff person. But I also wanted to point out that we know that Cody has all these like businesses that he does. Um, and a lot of people assume that because it's involved with the, uh, what are the sportsmen's, he kept calling it a sportsman's thing, which is code for like hunting, fishing, archery, guns, all of that, camo, everything like that. Um, people seem to assume that he's making a lot of money. I will tell you, you could absolutely lose money in that industry as much as you, as much as you can make money. In fact, I would say many, we were just talking this weekend about a bunch of stuff that you have from companies that are now bankrupt defunct um i i've been an archery coach i've been an archery person for 20 years i have seen companies come and go i've seen people lose their shirts most of these people are not making a few a trust few me companies. you don't want to see these people without their shirts <laughs> like easton is probably the one big exception they're the ones who make the arrows but they also <laughs> then made baseball bats hockey sticks uh softball all of that anything that's a long aluminum tube they make bicycle frames all of that. They may have a lot of money, but there's this assumption that because he does gun stuff, he's guaranteed that he's making money from that. I mean... <clears throat> I mean, we've seen his business acumen. I'm actually going to say that it is likely that he spent a ton of money to buy into his buddy's business for them to break even. Seems, I'm just going to say. Seems fairly accurate. Um, but so what Janelle says is that we have the money to pay off Cody Pass, but it goes towards other things. She did not say what things they were, but I think we all classy. know. And then, so last <clears throat> time, uh, the episode or the previous time, Janelle says, my money went to Robin's house. This time, Mary says her money went to Robin's house. I wish they would, like, dig into this more, because assumably Robin's money went somewhere, unless she was, like, somehow was upside down or walked away with nothing. Some people have been critical that say that it's not fair that Christine left with money, but... My opinion is that she, one-fourth of all this was hers. <clears throat> the issue is not that Robin got any money. It's that she got, apparently, way more than a fourth. And she has sucked up the money that was meant to be for Mary to build and for Janelle <clears throat> to build. Um, but Robin's like, yeah, we always work together as a team to take care of stuff. And I was like, lady, just shut up. 
And I, I don't even, this is what bothers me on the show. Stuff that has never happened since she came into the family. If she is not going to show up on the show to do anything, I don't want her opinion in the interviews. Well, yeah. I don't want her opinion in the we'll interviews, period. But we'll... Maybe she dies of COVID. Um... And then he's like, was like, well, have you... We know she doesn't die of COVID. But it would be nice. It would be a real plot twist if he kicks out every wife for Robin and then Robin disappeared. <clears throat> so, uh, Robin... So my point was Cody's not a financial wizard. I would not put it past that he is not a sieve with money coming up with all these hair brand ideas. I mean, he's on Cameo for $9.99. Now, that's easy money. If I could do it, I would as well. And a lot... It seems that a lot for of people... For us, it's called Patreon. Uh, it seems like almost 100% of his business are fans mocking him through Cameo, which makes me think that either he's completely unself-aware or he is that desperate for money. Uh, but if he does make any money, I'm sure it's not going to Janelle. <laughs> so he's going on and on about how he loves this house, and he keeps talking, and she's like, I don't care that he loves this house. I don't really like it. I don't want it. I... Um... I want to build my own house. I want Long to have a house. Coyote Pass. Yeah, I mean, we find out that she's really into like astronomy, which is like, why did no one tell us this before? Why are we having instead of having one million going with Cody to a wedding to watch him dance in the worst and dance ever in life? COVID episodes. Why don't we see Janelle out stargazing <clears throat> and looking through a, a I almost said a microscope, wrong one, a telescope. Anything at all, going to a planetarium, anything, taking all the kids to the planetarium. So she's yelling, he's like, you're not thinking like an entrepreneur. And I'm thinking, you're a guy who's been on TV for 10 years, and you managed to have one house that, as far as I've heard, is pretty well financed up to the gills. <clears throat> How are you so bad at this? If we were making that kind of money, and Lord willing, we will be one day. We make better financial decisions now. I mean, yeah. 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 We're a, financially, we're in a better place than them. And we do not have a TV what? show. Or, or any of that. We're just a frugal and are lucky enough to be in a position to have money coming in. So he's like, why would you discuss with everybody else? And he's like, I don't, you, me, me. I, I, you know, I don't want to work. I don't want to do anything. Um, so now he has, so, so last week he had no money to build. Now he has enough money to buy Christine's. And this is my opinion, is that he, the part of the reason he's so mad about Christine Lizzie leaving is because he always saw her assets as his own and now they're not. So he's mad about losing the house. He sees everything as his own, except when yes. it doesn't benefit him, like the kids that of a non-favored wife. Right. My guess is that if he had bid on it, he would way under bid, push Christine into it, maybe own her financed, and then not pay on it. Like, I really see this as being... If she was my friend, I would be like, you know, Run. if he wants to put in a bid through uh, someone normal or whatever. But my guess is that he, he wants to get his name back on that building. He wants, he's not going to make that mistake again unless he absolutely has to. But I don't think he's going to, uh, to, to put any fa family money into something that his name isn't on. And um, that he would try to screw Christine over in the process. And just say, well, it was a family asset. You're stealing from your, from your children, all that. So, and I kind of wonder if Janelle knows that too. And that is... That she, she, she wasn't born yesterday. You know, yeah. So, next scene, Christine has to come back, pick up more stuff. There was a whole big thing when she was leaving. She couldn't take anything. The house needs to be ready to show. They need to clean it. We did go and see Christine's house. It seemed very cute. It was very dark. I was kind of surprised we didn't get more footage of it. I'm hoping maybe in the future we'll get more footage of it, but it was sort of like, ah, oh, here's Christine's house. Oh, yay, we're so happy she's near her her kids. You know, poor Truly's leaving. Poor Truly does seem like she's really struggling to adjust. Hopefully she's... I will say that when she came back, which is right now, she already looked better. Not that she looked bad before, but she, ar she already seemed more, like, balanced and... She well, she came back and people wanted to see her. I know. <clears throat> they had to go back and get the rest of the stuff, so Truly goes and stays with Janelle and Savannah, which is adorable, lovely, everything I want from the show, but noticeably not her father and not Robin. Do you know what I mean? Like, and we already know that they couldn't find a place for her, which is weird to me because from what I understand, their house is about the same size as ours. She could probably sleep on the garage. Probably not. I mean, on the driveway. Where the other crap I mean, is that they can't fit in the house. Right? 
one of the one, any one of <laughs> Cody's cars. Yeah. So I don't know where Christine stayed, but truly went to stay with Savannah. Haven't even heard Savannah speak this much as I did this single episode as much as two the last two seasons. They go, they're going to look at stars, they're going to do, um, have uh, s'mores. Janelle is so excited to have her. Janelle has always kind of presented herself as she loves all of her kids, but she's not like a, she's not like a kid kids person the way that I think Christine is, but she was so happy to have um, Truly. It was beautiful for Truly, I think, to see that this is still one of her moms. Yeah. This is still one of her sisters. Living out what they professed. Yeah, and then, you know, same with with um, Janelle being like, I just want her to be out here and have a good time. I bought all this cereal. It just, it was such a genuine moment of like, this is what the show was promised. This is a show that was promised to me 17 seasons ago that never really worked with Robin. Mary, you know, I'm not going to say that Mary, Mary was not always the best with the kids, but I don't think she was ever like cruel to them. But there's something about Robin that really has that like evil stepmom vibe where you're, you know, like when you see like truly going to hang, the difference between truly hanging out with her father and shoveling ice with like a, a garden shovel and then seeing her over at Janelle's where they're so, oh, thank you. you know, we're so glad you're here. Savannah being welcoming. It really... Useful versus one of the kids. Yeah, I mean... And Janelle says, this was a little weird to me when she said it this way. She's like, of all the sister wives, and she's like, I mean the people married to Cody. And I was like, who else are you for? So I'm wondering if, like, sister wives, when she says the sister wives, she just means anyone who's in a plural relationship. Like, is that how they use it in their community? Cause I was, she's like, I mean of the women married to Cody. And I was like, I like had a little itch in my brain. So I was like, wait, who are you clarifying? Like who, who am I supposed to be like, oh, oh, that's who you mean versus before. She says, we all know about her problems with Mary. They apparently go into it really <clears throat> deeply in the book, which I haven't read, but maybe I will. Um, and then she says with Robin, there's a lot of problems with Robin which Cody is not going to stand for hearing. <laughs> and Christine talked about how when she comes back to Flagstaff, it, it feels weird now because when she was in Flagstaff, she was the wife in a loveless marriage. <clears throat> and now she's this young, you know, I don't think she said young, and this independent woman who can do what I want in, in Utah. And that's very exciting. And I, to be clear, TLC, I want to see that. I want to see what it looks like to start over. And Cody's like, I lost a house that I really liked. You're like, oh man, let me just get the sympathy for you. Um, so then we, Cody stops by to see Janelle and it's just, it's just, I want them to pin him down and require him to answer things and then show him video and be like, how does this answer match up with that answer? Which one is the truth and which one's lying? Because he just double with, speaks the whole with time. With waterboarding, because that would be fun to watch. So he starts with this whole thing. <clears throat> Men don't feel love when they're not respected. Hey, buddy, women aren't crazy about it either. Every time he says this, I'm like, oh, oh, because I don't feel loved when I'm not respected. But you know what is not disrespect? Disagreement. When we feel differently about things, it does not mean that he disrespects me. And his solution always seems to be to just leave. And we've seen it all through COVID. There's no, it's it's his way or the highway. And if you don't agree, then that's it. And they're up front. It's his and rules clear. that he can't write out because he doesn't know them. Or He's explain. got to go check from Robin. But they're his rules. They're his he, rules. You all have to obey him. And these people are already obeying, but I don't know what they are. But they got him from the nanny. <clears throat> and the nanny can come and go and break the rules. I'm sorry, who got COVID next week? I, I believe it was the perfect couple who never, ever got COVID. Okay. Because because he said if they brought if Garrison or Gabe I brought COVID, I could never COVID, forgive them. I could never forgive them. So I want to know exactly which child he is never going to forgive of Robin's children. Now to be clear, John and I don't feel that way. A lot of people who tried really hard got COVID. A lot of people who were very careful got COVID. Right. It is not <clears throat> someone's fault unless they knowingly expose. It. Like they go to a COVID convention and come home and cough on you. Yes, you can blame them. My point is I'm not going to, but that's how Cody feels. So let's just see how consistent he is when it's not well, one of. Well, we've seen how consistent he is. So he's so, I wrote, he's so smug 
And I got so, I was so mad ruddy that I wrote, he's so smag. So she's like, he pulls up, he's like, well, I, Janelle came over, she wants me to show something, I'm over here with my, I, he, I guess he's going to try to build a log cabin, and it's like, I don't think you, I don't think he, I knew someone who built a log cabin from scratch with the whole thing. I, I don't think Cody can do it. Like, he's definitely a man who, who read one Wikipedia article and thinks he's a genius on it. And he lucked his way into a TV show, and now he thinks that because... Every, uh, sorry. So Janelle has plans for the house. Three-car garage underneath, above is her uh, casita, will be a very small house, 1,200 square foot, a bedroom for Savannah because she's still at home. She makes a point of saying, like, I made sure the bedroom was big enough for our bed set. <clears throat> He's really attached to these bed sets. I mean, it's just funny because we've n we've not... I mean, like, we've had bed frames, but we've never had... any time, I know. I know, right? Uh, and he's he has checked out the whole conversation. He doesn't even pretend for interest. He's got the stupid gloves on. I mean, him and his gloves, it's like he has to prove what a man I am. Look at my gloves. Look at my work gloves. And so he, she is so excited, and he has just checked out. She's figured out everything. She's put the house. Now, this is something that people have been fighting with me about. Not here, mostly TikTok where I say that Janelle could build if Cody wanted to, and everyone's like, no, 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 Cody said she ha they, have to, they have to pay it off first. Quit and I drinking say, the Kool-Aid. Right. I say only if they, they have to pay it <clears throat> off before they can redo the lot lines, which makes sense. They still, they can't change the lot lines because then, when they owe on it, because then suddenly you can't, like, it messes up all the ownership. They have to pay for it clear, and then they can change the lot lines. But the whole point is, she can build now. His idea for the lot lines was dumb to begin with. His initial pitch for why they didn't change it was so that he had his own lot. He never needed his own lot. That was ridiculous. But he said it once, and they've all gone forward with it. So she said, I put the house in a place where it, it meets all of the building envelopes. Most lot lines have, you know. With how we have it and how we want to change it. And when we move it, so right now it's like off center. And when they move the lot lines for the new lots, which is still dumb, it will still be within that lot. Um, I'd like to point out that his new lots, two of them don't have access to the road. Which means they'd have to, they would have to have easements through them. I don't know that they, I don't know that they, they someone said it's an, it has an HOA in there because they have, it a, it's a gated community. We remember that because when they bought it, it does, but okay. once they pay it off, they can change it. They can change a lot of what lines. we were told. They can change the CCNRs. And he, they can change oh. all of that. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, but they would need to have access because you can't have lots that are off of the road that don't have any kind of access. I mean, you, I guess you could, but I don't think. Some people do. I don't think the city's going to approve well. it. I don't think the city's going to approve it right now if they try to move them. Secondly, and, and this is what Janelle brings up, is why do we still need five lots? Oh, because it's going to increase the value by 20%. And I almost threw a brick at the TV because she just let that slide by because that's not how land works. I mean, if that was the case, we would all take one acre and divide it into 40 one fortieths of an acre, and we would magically... And then we'd be in Southern California. We'd be... We'd be... Um, that's not how that works. I don't know what Flagstaff rules are or whatever, but he's like, we have to still do this. We're not going to build until we pay it off. And he's just a total jerk about it. It's clearly he's completely checked out. He magically thinks it'll be worth 20% more if they do this. Because of his business prowess. Yeah, because he's this... And I'm like, he doesn't have... Um, Bro, nobody wants to live next to you. And she even says this. I'm like, I'm like saying this, but even she said, you know, he thinks he's going to have all these. We don't, we can't build my own house, but we're going to have all these rental properties. People have said that maybe Robin's pushing in so that they have houses for his, her kids to move into. Like maybe so when he, he marries them. No, I was thinking more like maybe Dayton, she's thinking, or maybe the girls. And then they, you know, um, and then he said, <clears throat> we don't have the money. You just said you could buy Christine's house, which is why I, this is why I think one, he is not telling the truth about something somewhere. Two, I think part of his plan for Christine was to screw her over, put five thousand down, pay a thousand a month, and then fall behind and and try to get Christine to have to foreclose on Janelle or something like that. Um, yep. Robin says something, and I said Robin adds nothing to the show. Shut your face! I don't want to hear it. And then he says, yeah, I really want Robin and Mary to get out there. I really want Mary to get out there, blah, 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 to pay off the land, is what he says. 
Nice. I know, right? And then we see Mary, and Mary's oh, holy like, moly, moly. well, Angel. I don't know. I don't know where I want to go. I don't know how it's going to be. I guess I could move out there, and but I'm happy renting. I gave Robin all the money for my house, but that's fine. And then that LuLaRoe money is not going to last forever. I thought they had already gone under. There, there's been talk because they used to be able to return everything that didn't sell, and then they couldn't. But that money's not going to last forever. I mean, I, says the lady who has a YouTube channel about, about sister wives. Also, the money here is not going to last forever. And it's, not, it's not that great. Don't get, don't get too worried. Um, and then he basically says, you know what? I'm not going to, you know, what I, what would, in order to build on Coyote Pass, I need to break my back. And I'm not going to do it for her because she has been mean. Which basically is like, he's not done punishing her. He's going to do exactly, it's, it's insane to me. That he just did this to Christine, and he thinks that somehow we're going to buy it. I don't know if he lives in a social media cocoon. I'm guessing this is why he's on the manosphere, because they're probably like, oh, yeah, bitches, man, about everything. Because, like, if you had even a hint of self-awareness, most people who are not monsters would say, you know, I'm going to look like the villain, because I just kicked out Christine. Christine is saying that I withheld affection from her, and now... If I lose Janelle, it's sure going to look like I'm the problem. Like, any level of self-awareness, even, like, selfish Sarah Bro, we've was, watched all these seasons. You are the problem. But it's like, even someone who was evil would recognize that he's got to, like, butter up Janelle a little bit so that, it's, so that it looks like he's good. Because it's just, it's just, it's like he's showing all his cards. He is his, not a smart man. He's not a smart man. <clears throat> so he keeps talking about respect. This means to me obey. But it's so clear he doesn't even it's like Janelle. what it means to him. It, but he doesn't, so he wants her to do what he wants to do. But he also makes it impossible for her to even do what she wants to do. Like she's telling him like, I can't, I can't buy this house. We don't have the money for it. And he's. He's saying, I do not care about you without using those exact words. Yeah, pretty close. We cut back to Christine is there again. She wants him to load up the snowblower. He's, he's like, well, she's now this independent woman, and she just tells me how it is. It's like, yeah. Yeah, that's what you that's, do when you're divorced. Secondly, seems healthy. isn't it interesting that he thinks that she's behaving differently than she did before, and yet he claims that this is how she's always been. It's like, it can't be both ways. He says you have to put that load the heavy stuff in front, which is correct, but most trailers that I've ever seen are built in such a way to where the wheels are offset so that the front, like if you just load up a trailer, it automatically puts all the weight in the front. Like if you want to put the unless weight in back. Unless you elk panels. Yeah. <laughs> unless you. We, anyway, we went through a whole thing and almost died, but we lived. But we lived, but someone loaded up the trailer wrong. But the whole point is that if she loads up the whole trailer, unless you're putting rocks in the back inch and and pillows in the front if it's full it'll be it'll be loaded in in general like you don't his whole like does three boxes of books weigh more than a snowblower i'll tell you a snowblower is pretty heavy pretty i mean it's like solid metal so unless she's just and that's all she wanted him to do not the whole trailer just load this one thing for me thank you and she kept saying like oh you're gonna load the whole trailer because she thought for sure he'd be like oh no i'll just put it in and go instead he loads the whole trailer and this is what I thought. I was like... Whines about it the whole time. My thought was, why did he load the whole trailer? And then I was like, oh, because there's a TV crew present. More money. There's more money, more money, more money. There's a TV crew present. He couldn't possibly leave while the TV crew was still there. So they do all that. Oh, by the way, then he drives <laughs> up. This is when he drove up with his fourth car. And I was like, hold the boat. That's a fourth car? That's a fourth car we've seen. And at first I was like... When I first saw it, I was like, well, maybe that's one of his kids' car. Maybe that's because he's bought all of his kids' car. Um, and I was like, then we like, we rewound it. John looked on his phone to look it up. He's like, I think it's a, 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 a what did you call it? It's a Lexus of it's some sort. It's a Lexus sort, of some kind. Um, a, a late model Lexus. I mean, it's got the old incandescence and not the whatever the new stuff is. And then he starts around his heartbreak and it's that whole like, do I love her? Do I not love her? No, you hate her and we've seen it for years. Shut up. You know, he's just heartbroken <clears throat> that he lost an asset. A house. Yes. And her income. And a bedroom set. Um, I almost guarantee that they, they used to be paid as a family from TLC and it went into the family money. From what I can tell, it looks like now him and Robin are paid together because they created that LLC. Dab Sark or whatever, and then I'm guessing everybody else is paid individually, so oh, he's, he's losing money. And people are weird about it. They're paid 
from the articles I read, somewhere around 200000 for the season. Which is good money. I, I would not complain. Divide that by five people. We wouldn't people, be turning it down. That's 40000 yeah. a person. But if you don't have another job, it's kind of, and you have kids, that's kind, that's kind of tight. We even, have kids like they have kids. Well, like even 80000 between Robin and Cody with a nanny is not that does not go that far. You're not buying a million and a half dollar house with 80000 in income. Well, it wasn't initially a million dollars. That's why you house. need Mary's money. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the truth. So then we go to the preview. As they drive off into the sunset, him there with his gloves, he's like, you know what I never did? I never quit. And I'm like, oh, really? Let's cut over. Next scene, him yelling at Janelle. So he didn't quit, except that he's totally given up on Janelle. And Mary. And then... And Christine. In the preview, if you watch the preview for next episode, or you watch the next episode, there's an outside view of their house. Look at it. Every window is full of stuff. It looks like when you look in, every single window shows a ton of stuff. Downstairs, it looks like there's just a room full of boxes. Uh, all the cars are parked outside, so I assume the garage is full. And then no, there's no, stuff no, no. outside. Yeah, they, yes, there. Right outside the garage is like stuff. And you don't leave, we don't leave stuff outside at all. Like we have a little bit of, we have like an outside chair that can, you know. We leave outside stuff outside. Yeah. We have some outdoor furniture, but like we take the cushions off for winter. Um, we have an old wagon, like a, a covered wagon in our in our thing. But you don't leave stuff out in a high altitude. It gets destroyed by the sun. And snow. It's and raccoons. And, and raccoons. All the other and other wildlife. Muskrats. Coyotes, apparently. Yeah. And so, it really, I've heard I've heard for a long time people saying that she's a hoarder. I haven't repeated the rumor. But it sure does look like it's got some creeps. And that she's a shopaholic. And then there was some stuff like she had <clears throat> like $1,000 in debt to Victoria's Secret, which I mentioned, when she moved into the marriage. And I'm like, that's a lot of money. Even when I was at my most big shopper Rooney, I, I can't imagine spending 1000 Like, how many bras and panties and stuff do you need? That, that, that strikes me as someone who cannot stop spending, but I was like, okay. And I heard a rumor that some people went, some people in Flagstaff went to go interview to be a nanny for her and turn the job down because the house was so dirty and full of stuff. But once again, I didn't repeat that one because I didn't have proof. But now that we've seen the house... I'd be wanting to live in a trailer with another wife. I know, right? <laughs> now that I've seen <clears throat> this image from next week's preview where it looks like the whole house is full of stuff, now possibly this is some fancy shot from five years ago when they first moved in. We have boxes underneath their stairs, so I, I get a little this bit of clutter. This isn't COVID anymore. Until next week. So, <laughs> so... Um, so I haven't said anything, but really, based on that preview, at least it's now something we can discuss where I'm like, why is there so much stuff everywhere? And who is paying for the stuff? And once again, who is paying for the nanny? We know. And what does the nanny do? What does the nanny do? Um, it's looking like, this was episode 12, it, it's looking like it's maybe a 14 episode season, hopefully with a tell Hopefully tell a 20 episode season. We're going to be doing a rewatch after this is done. We might take a few weeks off, but stick around after the season is done and rewatch it from the beginning with us. Bye. I'm going to pass out now.